How's it going guys, Jake here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Minecraft mod that adds real guns into your Minecraft world. So the first gun we're going to take a look at is the pistol. Now to make this, all you need is three iron ingots, three gray concretes, an iron nugget, and stone. Now to make an iron nugget, it's the same way that you make a golden nugget. So we're going to take this, and we're also going to take some basic ammo, and to make this, all you're going to need is four gray concrete, two gunpowder, and an iron ingot, and it'll give you eight basic ammo. So we're going to take some more of this, Then we're also going to take this short scope. Now to make this, you're gonna need three iron ingots, a glass pane, and three gray concrete. Now, I'm using the short scope on the pistol just because the pistol is gonna be, you know, the most close range out of all the weapons, but you could use whatever scope you wanted on the pistol, so I'm just using the short scope. So, it works the same way as a bow and arrow does. If you have the ammo in your inventory, when you right click, you will then fire a shot. So it has a slight damage increase from a bow and arrow, but let's say you wanted to, you know, shoot out a little bit farther. Well, then let's put the short scope on. And to do that, all you need to do is place the scope and the pistol in the crafting table, and you'll get the pistol. And if we come over here to a little bit longer range, and we hit the Alt Option button, you can see it activates the sight, and then just allows you to be more accurate in those long shots, especially with this pistol. And this is the shortest scope that we actually have right now, and we're going to see the next one, which is the medium one, in just a second. Now the next gun we're going to take a look at is the Assault Rifle. Now to make this, all you're going to need is four iron ingots, two gray concrete, a block of iron, and another iron nugget. So we're going to take this, we're going to need some more basic ammo, and we're also going to take this medium scope. Now to make this, all you're going to need is five iron ingots, glass pane, and three gray concretes. Now with any gun, if you hit the Alt Option button, it will then it'll just use a plain iron sight, but we're going to go ahead and just put the scope on right now to show you the effects. So let's hit the same button again, and as you can see, we have not only crosshairs so that we can, you know, be a little more accurate, but we also can see a lot farther. Now, the bonus about the assault rifle is that you can hold down the trigger and it will constantly fire. Now, as you can see, if I just keep still, the gun will slowly raise up, and that's because of recoil, so you have to keep pulling your mouse down a little bit to keep it angled. So it is a very handy and simple gun for taking out a big mob of monsters. So the next gun we're going to look at is the rifle. Now to make this, all you need is three iron ingots, three gray concretes, and an iron nugget. So we're going to take this, and this uses advanced ammo, not this basic ammo. And to make this, you're going to need an iron ingot, two gunpowder, and four blocks of iron. So it is very expensive. And then we're going to take the biggest scope, which is the long scope. And to make this, it's just five iron ingots, a glass, and three gray concretes. We're gonna go ahead and take this. Now with this gun, we could just hold the Alt Option and just use the Iron Sight. It zooms in just about as much with any other gun. But if we use it over here, you can see that we still can't see what's down there. So we're gonna go ahead and place the scope on top. There we go. So now if we hit the Alt Option button, you can see down there that there are two chickens in there, in fact. So if we go and hit right click, you can see one died. And then there goes the other one. So it zooms in a very far distance, it also darkens everything around so it makes what you're looking at easier to see. And so it's just, it's perfect for those long distance shots. So those are all the basic type of guns with the gun ammo. There is one gun that you cannot make in, uh, in survival mode and that is the shotgun. So you can't make this but it is very effective because, well as you can see just from this long distance, it does all way more damage than any of the guns combined because it only takes two shots to take down a zombie unlike the other guns so unfortunately it's not craftable but it you know it's fun whether you're going to do some multiplayer online thing so the next gun we're going to take a look at is the minigun now to make this you're going to need a gray concrete two blocks of iron and four iron ingots we're going to take this and then this is the reason why i have all this basic ammo in my inventory because if we hold down the right click you can see it shoots out a spray of bullets, and if I don't move, it does have a decent amount of recoil. So you do need to hold it down. So, this is great for taking out a massive army of zombies that's coming at your house, so it's good for, you know, a tower defense game that you might want to set up or something. But, you know, it chews through an ammo, as you see, it just went through a complete stack of basic ammo, so you do need to make a lot of ammo for it, because it fires many shots a second. So now we're going to get into the explosive guns. First one we have is the grenade launcher, and to make this, you take three iron ingots, four gray concretes, an iron nugget, and a block of iron. We're going to take this, and we're also going to take some grenades, and to make this, you're going to need dark prismarine, 
five of those surrounded TNT, two iron nuggets, and a block of iron to make two grenades. And we're also going to take the bazooka, and to make this you're going to need four gray concretes, three blocks of iron, and an iron ingot. Take this. This shoots missiles. Now to make a missile you're going to need five blocks of iron and two TNT to make two missiles. So both these are fairly expensive to go and shoot. So if we come over here, the first gun we have is the grenade launcher. Now this gun is more for, you know, close combat because, you know, go up about 45 degree angle and you see it goes a decent distance away and it makes a explosion about, you know, twice the size, maybe three times the size of a TNT. So it makes a big crater, but, you know, it's more for close range, unlike the bazooka, where, as you can see, it has a little sight on the side. If we came back and hit alt option, it zooms in a decent way. But if we hit right click, after a little bit, it does a massive explosion, which is many times larger than that grenade explosion. So definitely for long range, you can snipe off many groups of mobs, or you know, if you wanted to troll someone, destroy their house, but it does a massive explosion. But the missiles that it shoots are very expensive because they cost around five iron ingots each. But you know, that's a decent price to pay for such devastating damage. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like down below and comment any other mods that you'd like for me to review down in the comment section. But other than that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. High five.